Hi, I'm Preet from Meta, and I'm excited to share one of our upcoming additions to our Meta7 platform that will allow you to issue and verify digital and cryptographically verifiable COVID-19 vaccination certificates. Today, I'll be taking you through a journey that has been developed using our digital COVID certificate, or DCC for short, extension on Meta7. The DCC, which was first introduced in the European Union, features some unique properties such as integration with an existing deployed PKI model and small payload sizes that allow them to be printed and carried offline as well as in a digital form for easy access in the Apple Wallet, Google Pay Pass or any third-party wallet. The Matter DCC extension handles all the complexity involved in generating these COVID vaccination certificates securely while providing the capability that allows other people or organizations the ability to validate the certificate. All of this is done through an easy-to-use API that leverages the powerful security and key management services that Meta7 has to offer. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how a vaccinator at a clinic can record a patient's vaccination event and then print a printout that for the patient to take away with them and later use to prove their vaccination status. I'll also show you how anyone can self-generate a DCC using a digital access code provided to them as a part of their vaccination event. Using a self-service portal, certificates can be claimed into the Apple Wallet on iOS, Google Pay Pass on Android, or any other form of digital wallet that supports storing these certificates. Right, so I've gone ahead and navigated to the vaccination hub, which allows a clinic worker to log in and register vaccination events for a patient. So I'm going to go ahead and press sign in. And we're going to see up here three options, record vaccination certification, test certification, and recovery certification. Matter supports issuing DCCs for all three types, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and press record vaccination certification. Now in here, we're going to be issuing a DCC for Samantha. So I'm, I've gone ahead and pre-filled some information, such as her given name and family name. And we're going to just verify that the vaccination is correct. So that is a Pfizer vaccine and that it is dose number one of two. Everything looks good. Now down here for this digital access code, this is where you'd enter a unique code that will bind this vaccination event to the vaccination card that the patient can take home with them and use it to self-generate DCCs. For now, I'm going to leave this blank, but I'll show you how I can use these in the later part of this video. So I'll go in and press Next. And this is going to generate us our DCC. So this QR code over here is your entire DCC that is signed and represented in a QR code format. And this can be verified using any forms of verification methods, such as using the Matter API to verify, or just using the EU Verifier app. And I'm going to show you both of those methods. So on my Android device, I've gone ahead and loaded up the Matter Verifier app. So I'm going to go in and pull that up first and just authenticate myself. And I can go in and scan this QR code. And you'll see that it's taken the QR code, decoded the information, and gone ahead and verified the signature for that certificate. And it's represented by that blue tick up here. You'll also see at the bottom here details of Samantha's vaccination. And this can be used for additional verification. So next, I've gone ahead and loaded up the EU Verifier app as well. And I can go in and scan the same QR code. And you can see that it has loaded up Samantha's information and verified that DCC, and it's shown here by this valid and the tick beside it. OK, so going back to the portal over here, you can see this option to download a PDF. And when I click that, it goes ahead and generates a A4 piece of paper for me that I can go in and print out and carry around with me if I don't have access to mobile devices. So this can be used for offline verification as well. So I've gone ahead and printed out this piece of paper that I can go in and fold as per the instructions on that paper. And it goes ahead and creates a booklet for me that I can open up and you can see that the QR code is in there and it can be verified using the same verification techniques shown earlier in the video. All right, so that was a way to sort of generate DCCs at the clinic itself. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at what you could do to self-generate and self-claim these DCCs onto your mobile device if you've already been vaccinated and are at home. So I've gone ahead and printed this vaccination record card, which is essentially what you would receive after vaccination and you can take this card home with you. If I open it up, you can see that it has a bunch of information such as a URL that I need to visit in order to claim my DCC as well as a unique digital access code that I can enter into the self-service website in order to claim these DCCs. All right, so what I can do now is on my iPhone over here, go ahead and pull up my web browser and navigate to that website. And you can see that we're now presented with the self-service portal. In it, you're asked to enter the unique code that was printed on the card, as well as your date of birth so that it can verify that it is actually you. I'm going to go ahead and enter Samantha's unique code as well as her date of birth. And then go ahead and press sign in. In here, now Samantha can look at her vaccination details, including the QR code. And you can see the option to generate a PDF present here as well. So she can print this out and take the piece of paper along with her. However, interestingly, at the bottom, we have three other options add to Apple Wallet, save to Google Pay Pass, and add to Meta Wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and press add to Apple Wallet, and this is going to allow me to store this DCC on the Apple Wallet application built in into my iPhone. I'm gonna go ahead and press add, and now it is present on my Apple Wallet right over there. All right, similarly, I can go in and pick up an Android device, and on the Android phone, I can press save to phone on Google Pay, and this is going to allow me to store the DCC on my Google Pay Pass application. All right, so storing these were native to iOS and Android. However, you as the issuer can also provide or support third-party apps that can store DCCs for the user. Such an example is the Meta Wallet application, which can also store DCCs. So if I go back onto my iPhone, down here, the last option is add to Meta Wallet, and I can go in and press that and open in Meta Wallet. And you can see that we have the same certificate offered to us on there. I can go ahead and load that, and it has the same details, provides me with a QR code that can also be scanned and verified, as well as the additional metadata for Samantha. All right, so let's just go ahead and do just that. On the other device, I've pulled up the Meta Verifier app, and I can go in and scan the QR code and you can see that it has verified that information successfully. And then similarly, if I open up the Apple Wallet application and go back into the verifier, actually, let's just go into the EU verifier app this time. And we can go in and scan that. And you can see that it has also verified the information from the Apple Wallet pass. All right, so that's it for the demonstrations. The Meta DCC extension is available today and you can find out more at meta.global. If you'd like to try it out for yourself or have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Until then, thanks for watching.